Well, good morning. Why don't you guys go ahead and have a seat? We have a few announcements today. And the first one is that today is Promotion Sunday. So I'm sure all of you are excited to see um, all the kids and everybody who is graduating. Um, but first and foremost, I want to remind us that serve has begun and so if you know of somebody who needs um, some a little bit of extra help our teens love helping um, and if you want to be a part of our team that gets to help um, different people who need help then please please join us on Wednesday nights um, it's always a lot of fun I always um, am amazed sometimes I go um, a little bit tired and I actually leave more energized and you wouldn't think that that would be possible but it totally is so um, it's worth coming out and being a part of so if you would be interested in being a part of that or have a project make sure you let Pastor Christina know and then we also have an all church work day coming up so it is such a privilege to have this beautiful building and this beautiful grounds that we get to meet on, but there's a lot of work. <laughs> if, if you're a homeowner, you know what kind of work there can be around the house. And so um, we just ask you to come be a part of the work that needs to be done so that people can feel welcomed into our, our sanctuary where they can have a chance to meet God. So that is on June 12th at Saturday at 8 a.m. So please, please make it a point of coming. Um, we need as much help as we can get. So thank you so much in advance for coming and being a part of that. Um, well, I think that that's really all I've got. So I'm going to invite... Um, actually, I'm going to invite Bill first. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bill's going to give us a quick update. And I just want to thank you guys for your faithfulness, um, both in offerings and then also with our project. So, Bill. Uh, once again, you got to see my, uh, my old face here once again to keep you updated on uh, our push that we have currently for uh, replacing our uh, old um, past their lifetime AC units here at the church. The, uh, the bid we have to get that going, and we've got the uh, um, parts on order and coming hopefully next week or so um, is $42,400. And thus far, what we've raised is 10400 So we still have a ways to go, but we've made some good steps toward that. So uh, just want to uh, remind you that this isn't a once-in-a-lifetime offering, but it's like once every 15 years kind of offering. So dig deep, see what the Lord has you to uh, tells you to, uh, to give, and uh, you can put it in an envelope and just mark AC, and it will get to the right place. Thank you, Bill. Well, now I will invite Pastor Brenda to come forward and begin our special time. Good morning. So glad to see you here today. It's always an exciting day for our children to get to move up in church to the next grade and the next level as well as their school. So I've heard a lot of chatter with our boys and girls. So um, first, though, I'd like to recognize our people who work in our children's ministry. We call them our children's ministry team. If you work in anything in our children's ministry, from infants all the way through fifth grade, you do the store, you do missions, our teens come and help and assist, and we have some who teach. Would you just stand up really quick so we can show you our appreciation? Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are so much appreciated. If you did not help, the children's ministry would not be what it is. It is because you are serving, and we so appreciate that. All right, boys and girls, we're going to do this a little bit different this time. So I'm going to have you, if you are going to be in the grade I call out, I'm going to have you, wherever you're at, stand up and go to the aisle that's closest to you. The aisle is the big walkway in between the seats. All right? Okay, and then uh, my friends, if you will, just wait and hold your applause until we are done. We will clap for all of them at once, okay? All right, if you are a fifth grader, 
I'm sorry. Ooh, we don't want to do them first. They're so excited. Look at them jump up. They're ready for the teens. Woo! All right, we're going to start with, if you are a fourth grader and you are going into fifth grade, would you please stand up and go out into the aisle next to you, closest to you? If you are a third grader and you are moving up to fourth grade, go ahead and step out into the aisle. If you are a second grader going up to third grade, step out into the aisle. <laughs> They're so little, they can't be third grade. First graders, if you are going to second grade, go ahead and step out into the aisle. If you are kindergarten and you are going to first grade, step out into the aisle. Okay. And if you are in preschool or K-4 and you are going into kindergarten, go ahead and step out into the aisle. And I think that covers those who are here today with us. So would you give them all a hand of applause? We're so proud of our children and what they've accomplished this year. Boys and girls, you can go ahead and sit back with your families. And it's so exciting looking forward to this next year that we will be able to help you in growing up with Jesus and to learn more and more about having faith in God. So at this time, I think it's important that we pray for our families. I, I know that our children, they talk to me, they share with me, your parents share things with me, and it's just incredibly awful sometimes what our families are dealing with. And I think we need to just keep continue to cover our children and our families in prayer so that God will help them with that. I think it's important that our children learn the wisdom to know right and wrong and to be able to choose God's paths. I know that we need to pray for them that they will get a complete faith in God so they can totally rely on God and trust in him no matter what comes in what their way. So boys and girls, I'm going to have all of you, even those who are going to be fifth graders and they're moving up, go ahead and stand up with your families where you're at. So moms and dads, grandmas and grandpas, aunts and uncles, if you're sitting with your family, go ahead and stand up with your children. We'd like to pray with you. I see some families and friends not standing up yet. There we go. You're okay. You could stand up with him, Jacob, if you wanted to. That would be great. Thank you, Micah. It's good to have a big brother, isn't it? Thank you. All right. So we're going to just pray. So would you just pray with me for a minute with our children and our families? We want, God to, we want to ask God to bless them. Father God, we just thank you for this time. We know that our families are important. And we pray, God, for the boys and girls. We know the life that they have to live in, the world that they live in, God, can sometimes be tough. We pray, God, that you would give them wisdom to be able to choose the right path, to choose your path. We pray, God, as they, um, they go into the next grades and they meet new friends and meet new teachers and, and they start new activities, this new journey in their life, that, God, that you would just help them to totally trust in you they would learn what it means to rely on you, that they will believe and understand that you are there with them, helping them. Help the moms and dads and grandparents, aunts and uncles, and everyone who's involved in helping to um, these children on their journey and into the next phase of their life, God, that you would help them to stay steady in your word, and they will continue to look to you and look to you for guidance and for help and continue to search your word for what you want them to know and how they should live to be a follower of you. Pray, God, your blessing on these homes today, and we ask this in your name. Amen. Okay, you may be seated, and at this time, I'm going to ask those who are fifth grade now, going up to sixth grade, please come join me up here. I'm so sad. I even had one crying today. <laughs> it's an exciting time for them to move up into the teen ministry and um, I hope that we have, as a children's ministry, prepared them and taught them the ways of God and helped them to grow in their faith, and they know what it means to trust God. So I'm going to give them a devotional. We have Ken Lee. So I'm going to give you a devotional that, <laughs> that you may. And Michaela, a devotional for you, and I hope you will read it. I hope you will read it, study it, and continue to learn as you go into the youth ministry. And at this time, I will turn you over to Pastor Christina. Well, we are so glad to welcome our new sixth graders into the youth group. We usually do this big... <laughs> 
We usually do a great big run in, but we were like, we're going to be COVID conscious this year, but we've got some gifts for you guys to welcome you. And then tonight at what time is it? 4 p.m. is our welcome party. Sixth graders are free. Everyone else, three bucks. We're going to have some pizza for the teenagers. Teenagers, sorry, through 12th grade. And we're going to have a great time. We're going to play some games. And then parents, I need you here at 5.30 for the parent meeting so you know what's going on here. But we have, who do you have for? Elena. Yeah, it has to come up. <laughs> you have for Kinley. We welcome you. No. And then Gracie, come on up. There we go. They got all kinds of fun stuff. Good luck. So in their bags, they've got some youth group stickers, and they've got the work t-shirt for the serve, so that way they can join us on Wednesday and look just like everybody else. So we're excited. Welcome, you guys. We'll see you tonight. Now, the next one we have is our high school graduates. And this is bittersweet because I love these guys. I'm going to cry. I love them. So we're going to go in alphabetical order, and it stinks because I'm starting with my son by last name. So Samuel, come on up. Talk to us about where you're going to go, what you're going to do, your plans. I think we have a slide, Chris. Yeah, that's the one. So talk to us, Sam. What are you going to do? Yeah, so I'm graduating high school. Hold it further up. And I'm going to be uh, going to college at a small college in Kentucky called Kentucky Mountain Bible College, pursuing pastoral ministries with the pursuit of ordination in the Nazarene Church. If you remember, a couple weeks ago, I got my local license, which is the first step towards that. Um, and I'm going to be here for a year, so I'm not leaving immediately. I'm going to be here for a year to get some classes out of the way and maybe get my first year done before I go off to college for it. Well, we're excited for you, so stand up here. All right? You can step right over there. All right, who do we have next? Oscar Lauer. Oscar. Okay, so I'm Oscar. Um, I'm going to Olivet Nazarene University and going to be studying business management. Uh, that's about it. So. I think it's really cute how they told me what's on the slides and then they're reading the slides. Yeah. It's really adorable. <laughs> here we go. We're so excited for you. It's you, man. So we have Colin Waterbury. Talk to us, man. Tell us about what you're going to do. I'll see if I can do this without looking at the slide behind me. <laughs> I'm going to Wheaton College in the, in the fall to study biblical archaeology. Very cool. Very cool. So I have a gift for you, too. Now, here's the exciting part. Next Sunday, you get to be in class. Where's she at? Usually it's Barbie, but right now we have Mandy Fowler teaching. So stand up, Mandy. This is your new kids. <laughs> and just so you know, new kids bring the donuts. So <laughs> all right, we're going to pray over our seniors now. Lord, we just thank you and we praise you for these students and for the part in their lives that we've gotten to play. We just ask that you help them, Lord, to stay focused upon you and about what they've learned about you, Lord, and just keep you as central in their life as they go off to college and they learn new things and they meet new people, Lord. Help them to stay true to you and to the calling that you have on their lives. Just be with them. In your name we pray. Amen. Love you guys. Hold on. We got one more. Thank you, guys. And I just found out we have one more. And, you know, it's a good thing I have a really full office. I don't know if you see my office, it's really full. So we have Dr. Preston in the house. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> so hold on. Tell us what you're going to do now. Sleep. <laughs> So we are thankful for Aaron, and he defended his dissertation this week, and I guessed it all right. It was on little tiny stuff, right? Yeah. All right. So we're excited they for him. They can't tell you did it wrong. That's right. <laughs> so there you go, Aaron. Thank you. 